Good afternoon. My name is Belinda Thomas Rechtenbach, spiritual health and wellness life coach and owner of Discover the Light Within. The mission of Discover the Light Within is to help small business owners establish healthier lifestyles in their personal and professional life by writing their own wellness story, thereby increasing their productivity on bottom line. Wellness coaching integrates the mind, body, and spirit with a balanced flow of energy. And wellness is never static, as we all know. It changes every day. Every time you make a decision or a choice, your wellness changes. So I'm here to tell you that I help you write your own wellness story. And I specialize in bringing together the top three areas of your life, faith, family, and work. Now, for the spiritual coach side, I am not a guru, a spiritual teacher, or a guide. None of those. I do have an active spiritual life, and I'm always learning to surrender to the Holy Spirit to guide my thoughts, decisions, and actions. Earlier today, I broke out in hives, so hopefully you can't see those, and that's part of my prayer today. So, Anyway, religious and spiritual beliefs are very personal, and as a Catholic, I work with the client's own beliefs, encouraging them to expand their understanding and apply those tenets as guidelines for personal decision making and actions. At first, I shied away from letting prospective clients know that my coaching style was spiritually based. And then I realized that I was not being authentic and true to myself. And I was out of integrity. So that initially was a challenge. Sometimes when you say you're a spiritual coach, people go like, oh my gosh, what does that mean? Are you going to like have rocks or something and come and do those kind of incense and stuff. So anyway, it was very difficult. So before meeting with each prospective client and before a coaching session, I say a little prayer for help and guidance. Why I do what I do? For 18 years, I was a jeweler, <coughs> and I worked for a local company called Brodke Jewelers. And I was in and out of the industry. I have a bachelor's in psychology and master's in management, and thought this was where I was going to spend just a temporary time with them. Unfortunately, or fortunately, that didn't happen. I saw in the industry a lot of changes going on and lifestyle changes that were not conducive to my religious faith. Um, I had a son going to Our Lady of Lords, and he was growing in his faith, and while he was growing in his faith, I was growing in mine. And I debated about telling the story, and I spoke to my friend, Andrea Malecki, who's responsible for me being here today. Um, my sixth grader said to me on the way home from school one day, he said, Mom, he said, I said, son, how was school? And he goes, oh, it was great. And I said, well, what'd you learn? And he's like talking, and we're just having small talk. And he goes, Mom, I said, yes, son. He goes, um, you were married before, right? And I was like, yes. And I said, you know that. He said, well, Mom, that means you're an adulterer, right? And I thought, whoa, driving oh, off the road. I was like, oh. Well, I'm not sure quite how to answer that, as I'm choking up now. And um, so anyway, I said, well, you know that Dad and I are working on some things, going through an annulment. Didn't know quite how to explain that. So I thought, well, I need to talk to Father Bill, and he'll explain it to him, and da 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 And so long story short, my husband and I went through the annulment. Our marriage was blessed October 18th, 2007, <laughs> in the church. My, my son stood up for him his dad and I, and I was received back into the church in full communion with it. Now, I'm telling you this, and it's very scary to tell you this, but I have to be authentic and in integrity with myself. It was very important, not only just to say I was Catholic, but to be a Catholic. And that was really, really important to me. Because sometimes I hear people say, oh, yeah, I'm Catholic. I put it down on a piece of paper. But what did that mean? Well, that meant I had to go to reconciliation, I had to receive the sacraments, I had to know my holy days, I had to do the fasting, so I learned with my son. Because of that, and being with my faith, I went to adoration hour, and I forgot my little um, tools with me. I have a rosary on my prayer book that I carry with me all the time, and um, thought I would bring them today. They're worn out um, through adoration hour, through Father Bill, Father John Petromali, through all of those people, they have been inspirational to me to bring me back to my faith. I owe a great deal to Andrea Malecki, who happens to be here today, because a year ago today, or almost a year ago today, my husband passed away. And Andrea said, you need to come to this meeting. And I said, I don't know if I can. And I sat over there at that table and could barely eat, but she walked me through it. 
And today I'm standing up here telling you, be fearless, live life like you mean it, don't be afraid, say you're Catholic and you're proud, and go out there and live your life abundantly. God bless you, and thank you.